Okay, everybody, it's time for another uh, template library. This is from the blue set. And I am on number 10, which is the secret message handbag. And this just looks like fun. That's how I feel. That's what I think. So I've got three different shades of pink. Their picture shows basically pink and white. So I thought, why not? We'll stick with the pink. I got this one. I think this is the one that I'm going to use. Either this one or this one. Uh, maybe I'll use that one. It's just a a little bit different in shade. So I use this one. And it does fit. You get my embossing tool. And this is going to be maybe a little complicated with all the folds. I don't know. Um. We'll see. So I am gonna just do the outside first. That's part of the stencil that's stuck in there. I don't know how to move my stencil now. message handbag and we have a little flap the last one I made the shutter card even though I didn't decorate it very nice I just did it quickly with what I had right right at hand you know like right sitting right here and but the the shutter worked really well and I was very happy with that. I'm just scoring this one real good because I don't know how this paper takes it. So now I'm going to go in and do all the folds. And I'm just going to go like this in the line. So here. And here. Make sure I got those. I don't want to miss any lines. Okay, make sure I got those. And this. Uh, here's where it's going to get confusing, right? When you have matte layers, you don't want to score those. Especially with something with all these folds. That's really going to mess you up.
last lines. Okay, so I can see them all clearly. I don't know if you can. Now I'm just going to cut around. was the paper with the rip. That might be why I chose the other one, but it, thankfully I missed that rip. Just missed it. I'm trying to not rush through this and take my time. piece here. Sometimes it's harder to come back. Finish the little tab here. Okay. I'm going to save these because I think there's a thing. The handbag handle. Okay, now I got to look back at this. And, and look at how it wants me to fold. And it wants this to be a valley. Okay. And this one to be a valley. So these are both going to fold down. Now this, I'm missing a score line right there, see? Oh, that's not good. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Let's see if I can get this line back up. Just want to find the score lines. Hopefully, this is it.
Okay, these are going to be valleys. Down. Is that a valley? That's also a valley. So it folds down. These are both valleys. That means that we're folding down. So they're all folded down and they go into each other, right? And then these are all valleys. I did those already. So now I need to come in and do these as mountains, right? That's a mountain. That's a mountain. If you look, all the corners are mountain folds. And that's a mountain. These side ones have both mountains. Mountain. These are both mountain, which means I'm folding them up, not down. Okay. Now we just want to bring everything in. Let me turn this. Looks like she's got these. That one's not up there. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that gives us our little lip. So the way to do it is just kind of bring it in. After you get your fold, bring these in and just kind of fold them all together and they line up. See, this goes into this, this goes into this, this goes into this. And they line up, and they fold, and go in. And this is very, very small. Let me see. So the bottom is about two and a half inch square. It's about two and a half inches from here to ear here so straight up it's just under two and a half inches so that's pretty small but isn't it cute <laughs> I think it's adorable so what I'm gonna do Next is I want the handle, which is right here. So I need to find a strip left over because I want to use the same color as the base. And I could have gone ahead and scored that when I was doing the rest of it, but I didn't. So now I'm going to do the handle. And I guess you don't have to use the stencil. You can just cut it, you know, measure and cut. Uh-oh. Wasn't very straight there, was I? 
it's all right. It's still right there on the line, so. Oh, I didn't take my tabs, and I didn't do them either. So. That's okay, too, because you can really just kind of do it. where you're adjusting your own height on it, you know. I just didn't. There. I would think that's about... Yeah, about a half inch. So about a half inch. Now you're going to want to take something, anything, and give that a little curve. Great. And it doesn't really say anything about how to hold it closed. So, secure Velcro dot for the fastening, it says. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the handle on. I still have my lid. I have not lost it. I dropped it. I thought, oh no, you got to be kidding me. But I didn't lose it. I was able to find it very easily. Thank goodness. Now, do I want my tag the same color as this? It's all part of the base. So, not really. Because it says base and handle one sheet, embellishments and tags, one sheet and matte layer one sheet. It is so stinking cute. Now with the handle, it feels a little like not quite square on there like it did before. I don't know, maybe it's throwing it off somehow. The way I got it glued on, maybe right here. I'm gonna pull it off. I hate when it does that. So the glue does take pretty quickly. Uh, and I'm going to line that up better. 
and see if that helps it. Yes, it does. So it was the way I had the handle on. So you want to make sure you put that handle right in between the two score lines or it'll mess you up. I'm just gonna hold it for just a second. So it doesn't slip. Let's do, I do think I wanna do the tag. The same color. Here they got a big tag. Here they got a little teeny tiny tag. Um, I don't think I did that good a job on that tag, but what I'm gonna do is now come in and do a bigger tag. Just kind of following those lines, just to try to get it somewhat the same shape. That's really off. <laughs> okay. I would have probably been better off to do it by own tags. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to. do a quick tag here so find your middle go down go to your middle Whoop, that's crooked even oh. all you need is the same spot and then cut to the middle. The same spot. Cut to the middle. And then you take and cut that off. That's still crooked again. But you can see I didn't go to the same spot. I'm a little bit up. I don't know. Uh, never going to capture it. <laughs> never going to capture it. Let's do it right. Okay. I don't know why I'm making it so big. Get your paper trimmer. <laughs> Where is my paper trimmer? Uh, 
I was kind of moving things in here last night now. I don't know what I did with my... All right. Is this a brush pin? No. Okay. So it's an inch and a half. Line up my square. Go to the middle. Leave a dot. Leave a dot. Leave a dot. That's probably not tall enough. But you go from here to there and from here to there. Then it's even and snip it still doesn't look straight. I don't know. Then maybe just because my tag's not straight, that doesn't even go together. Unless maybe if I now if I round, I'm gonna make a mess of it. Trying to force it to go the way I want it to go. It's not working. I let it go the way it wants to go. It works. That's too big. And they just got it tied on to there. It needs a hole. I don't have a whole bunch. I have hole punches, I just don't have them right here. But we're trying to get this done. Oh. I'm working off the back side of texture paper. Okay, it's a little Velcro there, a little ribbon here. Poor ribbon, it wants to bring the whole spool. He didn't have narrow pink, but I do have it narrow red.
Let's see. Kind of sloppy. Kind of sloppy. I should have done a loop around that tag too, I guess, but. That throws it off now too. I love it, it's cute. It's very, very cute. I like this pink with it too. Um, there's no mats for the flap over. So you can either just do the flap or just probably I don't know. Maybe do the flap and just trim it out. I don't know. I kind of not good at that stuff, but let's see what happens if we can get just this part. And I show you. If it looks good with the whole piece on, I'll leave the whole piece on, but I'm thinking it's gonna need to be trimmed down. Okay, I did that out of frame. I'm so sorry. I just took it close so I could see it. So you could just do that. Right? That's just the whole flap. I kind of like that. I'm going to glue that on. There we go. I do think that helped a lot. For me, it did anyways. I like that look better. You would put your message in here. So that's where I would take this. Ooh, that looks like the same color. Thought it was a little bit lighter, but now it's looking the same. I guess you could do the dark too. This needs to be held down longer. Um, I think I might do like um, a whole square and then with the lighter color, do the matte layer. 
so that we have really kind of a matte layer like so let's do this let me see I want it straight Just assuming that all the squares are the same size. See, it just lays right in there. Make sure it still folds up nicely. It's getting more wonky and wonky and wonky. So I guess it depends on how you place your Velcro, right? Okay. And then do the matte layer in light. Wonder if that's big enough. Looks like it'll just make it. Oh, it wiggled. It wiggled on me. Let's see. Let's see how bad that wiggle was. And I can see I'm not cutting it super straight here for some reason. Either because of where I wiggled this isn't straight or well I can't cut a straight line anyway, so what am I talking about? And then that will have your message on it, right? So we'll glue that down. That's actually not bad. And then the thing is, the ones with the folds, you're not going to do matte layers on, right? Because then you won't be able to fold it. So this one, this one, they can have mats, layers, whatever. And then on the outside, of course, The front one. Oh, it's all in the way it's folded. I think. 
for being wonky. And then the back, you could dress up this handle, just trim it down a little bit, take it to the trimmer and trim it a little bit. All right. So there's my little purse. You can put a Velcro closure. Um, you could do magnet. I like the magnets. Closing up the glue. Love those bottles. The glue, I'm starting to like the glue as I'm getting more used to it. I'm liking it better, but the bottles are fantastic. All right, everybody. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.